blasted goat here. Um, I'm just getting ready to record my first video that won't be edited because my computer sucks right now. And I wanted to let you know that I will be going to the Electric 6 show on the 23rd. And so look for my video of that as well. And here are a few poems. The best things in life are black and white. Chess boards, old movies, piano keys, chocolate and vanilla ice cream, twist cones from four queens, the dice you found on the sidewalk, even the king of pop. Who knew when they made that Simpsons episode that Jacko would turn into a white guy if you kept him out past midnight? Speaking of the Simpsons and pedophiliacs, I've seen episodes older than you are. I would be a hypocrite for telling you I never slept with anyone eight years older than me. At least now, I sleep at night, knowing they found my dead boyfriend's body after only a few days of looking. That summer, I put off reading the next Harry Potter. I didn't want to associate the two, but it turns out I do anyway. Strange to be here, a bookstore at midnight, waiting in line with the end in clear sight. Every which one sorted just after arrival, allowing plenty of time to size up the rivals. Hagrid's towering over fake grizzled beards, dozens of Hermione's, a force to be feared. All came early to witness the fall, predicting what happens during the final install. Could Harry survive, or would Voldy thing thrive? Hermione, Ron, will they reach the end? Severus Snape, enemy or friend? Dumbledore's troops stand ready to fight. If the Dark Lord spies, attack in the night. The title refers to a poem by Matthew Arnold called Dover Beach. Matthew Arnold, 24 December 1822 to 15 April 1888, was a British Victorian poet who also wrote social and religious commentary that was advanced for his time. It is such a beautiful poem that I thought I would share it with anyone who's interested. The sea is calm tonight, the tide is full, the moon lies fair upon the straits. On the French coast, the light gleams and is gone. The cliffs of England stand, glimmering and vast, out in the tranquil bay. Come to the window, sweet is the night air. Only from the long line of spray where the sea meets the moon blanched land. Listen, you hear the grating roar of pebbles which the waves draw back and fling. At their return, up the high strand, begin and cease and then again begin with the tremulous cadence slow. With tremulous cadence slow and bring the eternal note of sadness in. Ah, love. Let us be true to one another, for the world which seems to lie before us like a land of dreams, so various, so beautiful, so new, hath really neither joy nor love nor light, nor certitude nor peace nor help for pain. And we are here as on a darkling plain swept with confused alarms of struggle and flight, where ignorant armies clash by night. 